I'm getting ready to go to a brunch in a few hours and I thought it was the perfect opportunity to show you guys sort of my easy weekend day makeup look or one version of it. If I had a dollar for every makeup video I've filmed and not uploaded to my channel, I would have more money than I currently do because a lot of times when I film them the footage is just not up to my standards for what I would like to put out, so here's hoping that this footage will in fact make it up. So I'm gonna try and use a really minimal amount of products today. I always sort of say that at the outset and then I end up using more products than I intend, but I'm really gonna keep it restrained today just because my, I woke up and my skin was in pretty good condition. I exfoliated last night and let's just get into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is hydrate my skin, do just a little refresh, because it's been a few hours since I've done my skincare. And I'm gonna use the Essential Apothecary Alchemist Hydrate Skin and Hair Hydration. I mentioned that product in my last wish list video and I really have been enjoying using it a lot. Next, the only thing I'm gonna put on my face except for concealer is the Sentegrity 5-in-1 Natural Moisturizing Face Sunscreen in the shade Light just to get sun protection and minimal coverage on my skin. So I start with a full pump. And then I'll usually go in with another half a pump and do that kind of more on my forehead. For my brows, I'm going to do a very natural light structure and fill in with the Anastasia, Anastasia, Anastasia <laughs> Brow Definer in Medium Brown. I actually just bought a backup of this because I love it that much. You know, it's been funny too since I started using this product. My left brow used to be the one that drove me absolutely insane when I was using powder to fill in my brows, and now my right brow. I find annoying, more annoying than my left brow. I don't know why. It doesn't have as much of a natural arch as my left brow, so I feel like using this product, I like the way my left brow turns out more, but whatever. The weather is literally so amazing today. It's been quite warm in Boston. I don't know why I'm like talking about the weather, but I'm my mood is very impacted by the weather. If it's too hot, it's just like a wash of a day for me. There's like this crispness to the air that's making me so nostalgic for another time in my life. It makes me happy, but also kind of sad, honestly. I'm going to keep my eyes very, very minimal. The only reason I'm even using shadow and a little bit of liner to line the upper waterline is that I personally think I look sort of strange if I just curl my eyelashes and wear mascara. I don't know. I need a, like a little bit of definition. So you guys have probably seen me do this a bajillion times, but my favorite um, palette to work from on an everyday basis and for an effortless weekend look, it doesn't differ. I'm just going to do a mix of the taupey shade and the shimmery creamy shade all over my lid and I feel it gives just like a light wash of color, subtle amount of definition and looks really pretty. And I'm going to use a Wayne Goss number no. 6 brush to do so. Next I'm going to curl my eyelashes before I line the upper waterline and these are the Kevin Aquan eyelash curlers.
anybody notice that I use my right hand to curl my right lashes and my left hand to curl my left lashes? It's like a weird quirk that I have. Next I'm going to line just my upper waterline with the Antonym eyeliner in the shade Noir. My friend Melody sent me this and I've been testing it out over the last couple of weeks. I actually think it's pretty good. The lasting power is not quite as good as my Trish McAvoy gel liner pencil, but like for an, a weekend easy look, I think it's this is totally nice. And now I'm just going to do a fair amount of mascara on both the top lashes and bottom lashes. I'm not doing anything to the lower lash line. I want to keep it really bare and fresh looking. I really don't like using two mascaras anymore. I prefer to just use one, but my Too Faced Better Than Sex is almost done. So I'm going in with a first coat with Lily Lolo in black, and then I'm going to build up with the Better Than Sex. For concealer, I'm going to do a bit of the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector. This is called the Colored Clay CC Under Eye Corrector in Light Medium. And since I'm not wearing any foundation, Except for that Suntegrity tinted sunscreen, I'm going to do a little bit of the corrector around my nose because I do have some broken capillaries around my nose that really kind of irritate me if I stare at them too long, you know? That's pretty well blended in with my finger, but I'm just bouncing a beauty blender over the areas I put the corrector just to kind of really meld it into the skin. I'm going to set those areas where the concealer went very conservatively with the Trish McAvoy Pressed Translucent Powder and my favorite brush of life, the Wayne Gauss No. 2. I'm only going to do one product on the rest of my face because for me this is sort of everything in one, bronzer, cheek color, highlighter. And it's the RMS Buriti Bronzer. It took me so long to develop my love for this product and now it's one of my top products of all time. It works very well with the undertones in my skin. So I'm gonna just sort of apply this on my cheekbones, maybe a little bit on my temple, using a, this is like a slanted kabuki brush by Trish McAvoy. It's the number 71 Perfect Face Brush. I like using this brush for the Buriti Bronzer because it fits so nicely. Because this is such a minimal look, I did want to do sort of a little bit of a punch of color on my lips, but not like a full on bold lip. I mean, it's Sunday and I'm going to like a Sunday fun day brunch. Like no one needs to see a perfectly crisp, amazing bold lip. I want to do sort of more of a stain and I was undecided before sitting down to film this if I wanted to do, I was between two. 
Bite Beauty Coulee, which is a matte lip crayon and is kind of a, I would say it's sort of a true blue-based red, maybe. Kind of looks a little bit more raspberry here, but I was thinking this, or the Bite Beauty Amuse-Bouche in Radish. And I figured I would swatch them to see which one I wanted to do as a stain. I think I want to do Coulee. Radish is much more, has fuchsia undertones, and I think I want to do more of kind of a classic red-leaning stain. So my technique for doing a stain on the lips versus a full-on lipstick is nothing groundbreaking that I will show you. I'm just going to do a very light layer applied to the top and the bottom first. So that's a pretty light application. Now I'm going to work it into the lips with my finger. And then I'm just going to blot. There's not really much to blot away because this is already such a matte, sort of dry formula, but... And then it is quite dry, worn like this, so I'm gonna take just a little bit of the Alovi Tinted Lip Butter and place this very sparingly over top. And that, my friends, is it. I am off to go have brunch at one of my favorite places in Boston. If any of you live in Boston, in fact, I think that this is in other locations too. I know that they, I think, started in DC, but it's called Barcelona. There's two locations in Boston and it's tapas and it's just a great environment and I love it there. So wishing you guys a lovely Sunday. It's always great to connect with you here on my favorite day of the week. Let me know what kind of your minimal go-to weekend look is. That's something I've just been really, really into lately. As I feel like I mentioned in every video, I just feel like a lot of makeup has been looking too heavy on me. So I'm always kind of experimenting with lighter looks, fewer amounts of products and seeing how it goes. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.